What's up, YouTube? It's your boy T2, T2 the Great, Triple OG. Yeah, you know me. How's everybody doing? Good afternoon. Check it out. Uh, yesterday, we was over at Fly E-Bike on 153 Melrose. And yo, guys, I really had a good time up there. So today, I decided to come on downtown to 14th Street Fly E-Bike. And let's see what these guys got going on. So let's go. It's your boy T2. As we go again, we're gonna charge straight to the back of the store. Hope no one sees us up in here. But this is Fly E Bike 14th Street, guys. Nice. nice. So, Sean, what up? All right, yes, sir. How you doing, man? All right. Fly E Bike 14th Street, y'all. Nice setup, y'all. Nice, clean. Clean setup here. Let's walk to the back and see what's going on. Okay. Let's start with. Yeah, Sean, I know you're busy. I'll see you around. All right, cool. So here we go. Fly 11s, guys. Fly 11s. All right. Check it out, guys. The Flytron scooter. That's the Flytron scooter with the seat. Many of you guys, I was telling a couple of you guys that these Flytrons do have a seat kit. But there it is. I like these. I like these with the seats. One day I was on the Fly 10. A guy came zipping by on me with one of these with the seat. You know I was kind of hurt seeing that he flying by my fly tent with that little thing there. All right. Let's fly. Fly your bike is going. Got the tent, of course. Ooh, look. Ooh. One second, guys. Yeah, we got the Z6 uptown, but we have it in burgundy. I mean, we have it in black. We don't have that in burgundy. That's awesome, right, guys? Nice, nice. These guys got a sale on their bikes down here too. I believe all Fly E-Bikes have a sale going on right now. I think a lot of the bikes is $200 and $400 off each, but I think it's just for this month and this month only. So if you guys are interested in any bikes, you know, you might want to check them out fast. We got a Fly 2 in yellow. You can always, you can always expect to hear some kind of noise in these Fly E-Bikes because they work a lot. They work a lot and they get it done. To get them guys there. Of course, we'll get with them in a second, but finish. Let's finish. So, wait a minute. It's hard for me to move. Oh, there's a black Z6 there. I said, that's clean, guys, right? That's a whole video itself. I never seen a burgundy one uptown. And I know they also have a blue, like a nice blue Z ZX6. Yeah. Sorry guys, I'm stuck here, you know, I'm looking just like you guys. These are awesome. These big signal lights here. Yeah. Sorry. Just give me a little space. I'll be bombarding on everybody. One day somebody gonna kick me out of one of these places. And I just noticed this, the, the, the ZX's, these things, I mean the RZ's, they don't have a, a gas cap. <laughs> but that's cool, we don't need it. Check this out. And this is the fly. It's a small space, guys. Sorry. But this is a fly three wheeler here. A fly three wheeler. This is for the impaired and immobile. For guys who have um, problems with balancing. This is cool. And a lot of a lot of guys in wheelchairs been asking me about bikes too, so. As far as you guys looking to upgrade and trying to get more speed on your wheelchairs and, and your mobile devices, it's better to just invest a whole new bike. That'll be the real wise thing to do. Because they have these things here for like $1,500, $1,600. How can you go wrong with these? So, fellas, I mean, you got, I mean, don't forget Ebros. Don't forget, you know, you got little cousins, you know, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, you know, on an injured reserve list. These are kind of excellent, the three-wheelers. You know, just because they're injured doesn't mean that they don't like to ride, you know. And also, these bikes are good for travel. Like I said, some of our people's got these little small wheelchairs, you know, we need to bring them up to date. All you guys looking, this is really awesome. Well, I'm here for no specific reason, you know, like I said, I just enjoyed myself up in the Bronx, so I just decided to come on down here and check out and see what's going on with these guys. Let me go back to Flytron scooter. My girl got it, but I got 
That's good. Another thing, guys, when you guys jump on these scooters, always make sure you wear a helmet when you when you step on these bikes and these e-bikes, you know. Always safety first. And not just a helmet, you know, like things like this is good to have, you know, like to protect the chest, the elbows, you know, the knee pads and things like that. Like I was saying, always, always wear a helmet when riding these bikes. I see a lot of guys in the street, you know, they looking cool and all, but safety first. So pad up real right, guys. Like I said, get your elbows covered, your knees covered, protect your head, and so on, so on. And, and another thing, when you guys jumping on these bikes, don't just jump on these bikes and just go full speed, full throttle. You get on these bikes and you start off nice and slow. Then when you get comfortable enough, then you pick up the speed or you move up faster. So remember, you know what I'm saying? And just be careful. Just be careful like riding in the rain and certain things like that because you can't slip and fall. You can't slip and fall. So we want to try to prevent all that. You know, just be careful when you guys coming out in the rain with these bikes too. Um, pardon me, I'm just all over. I'm just trying to give you guys a little safety advice on these bikes. So my camera's twisted. One second, let me fix this. But yeah, but back to like I was saying, you know, um, just be a little safe in the rain and um, get you guys like, another thing. Oh yeah, one more question. Guys, as far as kids riding these bikes, I think it's prohibited for kids 16 years and under to ride these, um, these e-scooters. So you can do your research on that 16 and under, but anybody under 16, just be a little careful. I'm not too sure on the, on the rules and regulations of, of how that goes exactly. You know, so that's just about really all I wanted to say there. You know what I'm saying? The fly chart. You guys know the insurgents just came in. One more way to tell how good these scooters are. A good scooter here, I mean, a good, a good e-scooter, you can tell, is it slants back the 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 steering post if the steering post is straight up it's no good for high speeds you definitely want to get a little tilt on a on an angle i don't know what's exactly angle, like a 12 degree angle not too sure pardon me guys let me stop another thing you guys got it another thing guys when y'all riding these new e-scooters be careful going down hills you go down the hills nice and slow on these things do not fly down the hills like like you Batman or something. Please, take it easy, bros. Yeah, I just really made this video, you know, just to talk a little bit about safety, you know. Um, I was just in the rain the other day and slipping around, so I just wanted to tell you guys, be careful, you know. Like I said, as far as, you know, getting padded up and your helmets, it's really wise. I mean, I was saying as far as getting padded up and your helmets and things like that, it'll be really wise, you know, so. It's your big bro talk to you, too, too. And another thing, guys, when you when you guys store these bikes, I know a lot of you guys store these bikes outside. So when you store them, make sure that you get a cover, or at least try to cover up all this display area, because when this gets wet inside, it get real moist. Not get, that it gets wet, but when the inside of these get moist over time, they start to malfunction. So you definitely want to protect these from the rain. I mean, the rain doesn't bother; it's just the moisture. That you have to be careful about. Like I said, when you guys store on your bikes, get a cover. Cover your bikes up really well, fellas. All right, so let's go on down and interrupt these guys. Check it. A little fly to scooter. When I seen that, I was like, that's not a fly two, but that's a fly two e scooter. It's new too. It has the seat. But once again, you guys with your fly on. that's the seat. So you can't say you didn't see it, you've seen it here. I wish I could get on it and show you guys how I look on it. But, but anyway. Oh yeah, so here we go guys, 244 14th Street, y'all. See what these guys are getting into. These guys get busy here. <laughs>
just going on a song, finally, all right? Yeah. Okay, guys, so that pretty much does it for this video here, you know. I'm going to wrap it up and let these guys finish up a lot of their business, you know. It's pretty busy around here, but... I just wanted to introduce you guys into Sean, 244 East 14th Street, Fly E Bike. Sean, those are the people, that's my guy Sean, all right? Y'all yeah, come and see Sean anytime. 244 East 14th Street, Fly E Bike. And we out here, guys. See you around. It's your boy, T2.